What are you That's my version of a fish. You look like a seal. Ho, ho, ho. Chef Jay Barnard, and this is Lake to Plate, episode number 31. Yep. Wow, we passed 30 already. Isn't that crazy? Only 69 to go for syndication. No, 70. <laughs> no, no, 69er. 69 yeah. It's a big day. 69er. Very nice outside, eh? That only means that we're going to have the finest fishermen start showing up to the uh, old fisheroo plant, eh? As soon as the ice melts. Too bad it's still three feet thick. Yeah, that's a big problem. March break, though. Doesn't mean anything to me. Nah, doesn't mean anything to me either. Did you, you, your kid's home. Did you Did you go on vacation? Yeah, I, I, went, on, <laughs> I went on vacation. Where did you go? Uh, I went to Kiwaden. 18 Sunnyside Road. <laughs> um, what are we Not much going on, eh? You go to Ottawa next week. Oh, right, yeah, Ottawa. Yeah, I'm off to Ottawa to uh, speak for a couple days. Uh, going to the Bethany uh, House, the, so the Fatherings Program. Plus, I'm going to spend a day at the Salvation Army. Uh, I'm taking some of our products down, aren't yeah, I? you're taking some pike, aren't yeah, you? I'm taking some pike, I'm taking some wings, I'm taking some cheeks, and I'm taking some walleye fillets. And uh, I'm going to cook um, for the Salvation Army uh, Boost Center kitchen staff. I'm going to cook them our products. I am going to go by the NAC and hopefully see Chef Kenton Lear. Chef, if you ever watch this, walleye wings are coming your way. But she doesn't. Um, I'm going to go by and see Robert Ware, who used to be my counselor in my second stage home, which is exciting. He's going to try out the walleye wings. And uh, then I'm going to go to uh, Tucker's for dinner. Hey, buffet. That's I know nice you're a man one. who likes a nice buffet. I uh, like the buffet. And then uh, I'm going to go to the mission, and then I'm going to go to the traditional house, and then I'm going to go to Shepherds of Good Hope. So the whole point is, is that I'm going out to Ottawa to share hope, right? That's what it's about. It's about sharing hope uh, through an honest, raw message uh, to tell people and share with people that life is possible. Even if you have uh, alcoholism, drug addiction, depression, anxiety. So, uh, you know, huge shout out to Sick Not Week and Michael Landsberg and the gang that went out to Battleford, Saskatchewan, where there's been a lot of uh, uh, young people taking their lives, which which is always sad, but they take their message and they go out there and they share it, and uh, Michael Landsberg is doing some great things with that. Uh, Tyson, I did see you in the video today. Um, I'd do much better than you, just saying. Hey, Michael, call me up. Anyways, the uh, today, what are we doing today? We're doing buffalo walleye wings. We're going back to the traditional way of what the business used to be called right yeah so the business well, this is used what we did for the pilot we did walleye wings we did walleye wings but the business used to be called walleye wings right walleye wings inc, inc. even though that wasn't the legal name didn't make a lot of sense didn't make a lot of sense uh give an homage to our good friend robert allen armstrong correct yes so we are actually pairing up with a local company out of thunder bay today aren't we yeah very trendy we got the heartbeat hot sauce we got uh Habanero Red and El Tres Green. Beautiful. So we're uh, pairing up with another local company. So if there's anybody out there that wants to pair up with us and to do a Lake to Plate, sorry we can't buy your products off us. We just ask if you pair up and then we talk about you. Correct, Horn? It's not event. in the budget. So anyway, uh, we're going to do the uh, wings two ways. And then we're going to do, we're actually going to start it with, we're going to do uh, a wild rice salad. Because it's springtime, I figured we'd kick it into high gear, get some colors going. Uh, this is actually local wild rice out of Shoal Lake. Right? Yeah. We support Shoal Lake also. Um, not that the Canadian wild rice, puree ladies rice isn't good. It is phenomenal, and she has paired up with us many a times. But we also have to share some love to the west of us. And then, I found this today. I mean, I'm a guy that likes to make his own. Wouldn't that have been something if that was open? And it was like... Anyways, I'm a guy that likes to make his own vinaigrette, but I saw this. Newman's own. And you know what I saw? What, what got me to buy this? Was it Paul Newman's face? All profits to charity. Oh. See, I don't know if you're a big Paul Newman fan. Do you know Paul Newman? Well, I know two Paul Newmans. I know a Paul Newman that's a chef. Is that who this is? No. Okay, so this is a different Paul Newman. So the Paul Newman that I know is a chef... Uh, when I went to the Dominican Republic, no, when I went to the Turks and Caicos, he had his own restaurant. And he was, so that's not who this is. No. So this is a, a movie star. This was Paul Newman, a uh, star of probably one of the greatest movies of all time, Slapshot, where he played Reggie Dunlop. 
Wow, well, the Charles okay. Chiefs. Okay, Reggie Dunlop. I just learned something new. So, sorry, Paul Newman. I thought you were another Paul Newman. But look at here at Lake to Plate, we teach each other new things in life, don't yep. we? So I picked the Parmesan roasted garlic because I thought it would go good, nicey, and all the uh, beautiful vegetables and the produce is from our local Safeway. Uh, we are supporting Safeway today, correct? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get the two cans. Do we the have cans? cans? No, they're in no, the garbage. they're in the garbage. So the pre-cooked cans, you strain them, rinse a little bit of water, put it in your bowl. This is so easy, it's not even funny. Then you get a cucumber. Wash your cucumber. You grabbed an awfully big cucumber. I did. I only cut half of it because that's all you want. I don't like to keep the seeds. I like to cut around the seeds. But you know what I like to do with this? Not... A little salt no. over the garbage. Can you get it all in your mouth? Oh, I see. I hmm? thought maybe you could fit it all in your mouth in one shot. I'm not a champ like you. Or at least a you didn't... A uh, little pepper? No mm. waste. Huh? Why didn't you do the salt and pepper together? I don't know. That's how I do it. Okay. If anybody has a, a cutting board or makes cutting boards out there, we'd for sure take one. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I, I don't know. I like this one. It's very small and... Y yeah, you don't like to be cluttered, eh? No, I, I don't like clutter. Okay, so you can cut your cucumber however you like to cut it. I'm actually surprised you're not putting giant chunks in there. That's more usually no. your style. I know. But this is different. So, that's it. Nice. In it goes. Okay. Mandarin orange. I like mandarin orange because it tastes nice. You like mandarin orange? I do. Mm, very good. Want one? No, I'm good. No. In it goes. Strain the juice. Cranberries. One of my favorites, too. Dried cranberries. Grand dried cranberries. Very good. In it goes. Are they called craisins when they're dried? Or is that a Raisin. different thing? Oh, this one's one of your favorites. I do like pecans. These are uh, crushed pecans, though. Yeah, I like them on ice cream. And they go? Cream. Oh, when we used to go to that buffet in Winnipeg. Well, they didn't have pecans. They only had peanuts. Right. I like those as well. One of my favorites, arugula. Well, that didn't take long at all. This is the easiest salad you'll ever make. We got anything left for it? Yep. Feta cheese. One of my favorites. You like feta cheese? I do like feta cheese. And it goes. You know, it looked like more fed in the bowl. How easy was that? That was quick. Take some dressing. Some of Newman. Newman. Oh. Yeah. And there you have it. That is... A beautiful spring salad. Simple and easy, yet very good. Correct? Took uh, approximately two minutes to make. Two minutes to make. We want to put a little bit of uh, salt. We want to put a little bit of pepper. And we want to give it another, another toss. Shouldn't take any gloves off. Over here we only have wooden spoons. <coughs> that's beautiful, isn't it? No cilantro? Um, it's just decorative. That's just decorative. Nice salad, eh? Very nice. nice okay, colors. so simple, easy salad. Get it ready, let it sit. Let all the flavors come together like a wonderful marriage. Like my marriage. Lovely, eh? Yeah, I got I, a lovely wife at home. I thought you weren't married. I'm not. But I am. In the eyes of the government, I suppose. Uh, in the eyes of the government, I am definitely married. Okay, so uh, we have so what we did with the walleye wings, we actually put the sauce in overnight. So we took the sauce. We took the sauce. Let the walleye wings marinate overnight. Do you think everybody knows what a walleye wing is now? Well, you know, we haven't done one in uh, 28 episodes, so maybe you could demonstrate. Walleye wing. Two handles. If I were the fish, it'd be this way. I was the fish, right? So then, walleye wing. You want to eat one raw? My name's not Robert Allen Armstrong. <laughs> okay, so guess let's. Uh... Oh, it's my favorite. Time for the three-way. Three-way. Okay, so let's put this here. 
Let's move this here. Hey, uh, we need a new kitchen, eh? Nah, it's pretty nice. I, I can't think of a nicer kitchen. Me neither. Okay, so we have the flour. We have the egg. We have the panko. Now, you don't have to use panko if you don't want to. Obviously, this wouldn't be a gluten-free option since we're using flour. But, you can use whatever you want. If you wanted to give us a call, we do have some amazing crumbs. We have some original left. We have about five bags of the uh, 20, 20 kg. We've got 100 kgs of crumbs. 100 kgs of crumbs. We're blowing it out for $175. First caller gets it for $150. Jeff Dooley, call from Michigan. <laughs> Shipping's on you. <laughs> so, take your wings into the flour. These are beautiful wings, eh? Oh, very nice. Beautiful. Fresh Lake of the Woods wings. Either. Fresh Lake of the Woods. You know what's uh, you know what's exciting about uh, about this product? Not only did it get us a lot of uh, recognition from the province of Ontario and uh, everywhere else, this is a, a waste product, right? Hundred percent waste. Hundred percent waste. Uh, we never came up with the idea. That'd be Robert Allen Armstrong, but um, we were the first ones to take this to market, weren't we? Commercialized. Commercialized it. the walleye wing that was a piece of waste. So, folks, in 2018, I challenge you to look at what you're eating. Don't look at me because I'm gaining a lot of weight. But look at what you're eating and see what else you can squeeze out of it. So if you're doing, like, say, a bison. <laughs> you want a bison? I'd like some bison. Bison. Too. So my yeah. message really is use as much as the, of the product as you can so you don't have any waste. You know what I challenge people to do in 2018? What's that? Eat more walleye wings. I agree. Okay. There. There. <clears throat> These are a beautiful appetizer, eh? Oh, beautiful. What a piece of meat. Hmm. This is a problem. Glove scenario. Okay, so, uh, you know, like my chef, Kenton Lear, said, Jay, you get one hand dirty, the other one stays dry. How's mm -hmm. that working for you? Didn't work today, did it? Okay, so from here, mix the egg in there. Keeping one hand dry. Keeping one hand dry. So egg into there. A little bit of water I added to this. You could add milk, you could add cream, you could add butter, buttermilk, if you so choose. You know what's funny? It's the classic way of doing the walleye wings. It, it took 31 episodes for us to get here. <coughs> 31 episodes. We did do four at the beginning, though. Yeah, we did four in a row of walleye wings. Never did uh, bread them and fry them, though. This is the first time? First time. We did the beer batter. Beer batter, right, with Taraz? Yeah. And, oh, do people know where to get the hot sauce, by the way? Uh, we didn't mention it. Where did they get the hot sauce? Uh, well, in Kenora, you get it at the Bruco. I think it's also available on their website, maybe. Okay, so we're just going to toss, coat with the... If you see them starting to stick, just move them around. Get your uh, local deep fryer set up here. Uh, this is a uh, this is one of the finest Quiznarts. You can pick that up at Canadian Tire. Quiznart, we haven't heard from you, and it has been 31 episodes. I mean, that's pretty lame. They're with they did reach out at one point. They did. <clears throat> Was it because they only saw two views on our third video, or uh, walleye chili's hovering right around two? The pilot though has 43 views. That's beautiful. Okay, so these are nicely breaded. Nicely breaded, right? In so you want go. them thoroughly coated. Yep, that's it. So, so, so. In they go. You're going to cook these until they uh, float. Torn's favorite. I like when they float. Sometimes when we get a big one, we cut it in half, so it's like... Double the meat. Double the meat. Okay. Here's the first load. How easy was that? Bingo, go bango. Okay, so that one was the red, right? That was the red habanero. Okay, so what we're going to do, once these come out, we're going to put them in a fry pan. Then we're going to coat them. Now we're going to do the same thing with this. These are the green ones. The green are extra hot. <clears throat> yes, we tried some yesterday. It has some pungentness to it, doesn't it? Yes, don't eat the hot sauce right out of the bottle. Well, it's not bad. No, but, you know, you, you know, it could be worse. Yeah, it could be could be like whatever the boys watch, where the people eat like yeah. 20,000 Scoville hot sauces or something. 
James Shout out to the boys if they're watching. They are not. James and Joel. What show do you watch? Something where people eat hot foods on YouTube. <clears throat> okay. So what we like to do here too is you want to move these around so that they cook evenly, my friend. Look how nice these look. Beautiful, eh? Oh, that's it. Okay, back to here again. So, uh, next week we're pairing back up again with the uh, Love Local Boxes. Another Friday episode. Another Friday episode. I'm gone Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so I'll be back Friday, and we'll be doing uh, Northern Pike Steak with uh, potato hash. Potato hash. That's what we're doing. Nice and simple. Potato hash with some local potatoes. How's that? Good, eh? Beautiful. Okay. A little bit of a problem here. Here's our sexy plate we're using today. Wings are looking almost done. Not these ones, they're looking pretty raw. You don't want raw wings? Uh, you know, I was hoping you would eat them earlier. They almost thought the hot sauce would cook the wings, I like guess ceviche, but uh, they did not. Big shout out to Canadian Linen and their finest paper towel. Canadian Linen, why did you charge us for paper towel and toilet paper and didn't drop it off? How beautiful is that? Beautiful wings. Only needs a little sauce. Okay, I know you're a big fan of sauce. You know what I like about panko? Is that the oil dissipates, so it doesn't look like a soggy product. Right? No, it looks very crisp. Crisp. Bag. Okay, and it goes. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to let those sit there for a second to cool while we do this, right? We get the greens going. So we get the greens going. So, <clears throat> same thing again. You can make this event a family event. Oh, you know, you know what? Bet you didn't know this. It's Rick's birthday Sunday. Oh, well, happy early birthday, Rick. Happy early birthday there, Buck. So if you ever see him torn, call him Buck. Oh, does he like that? No. Oh. So do it. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get him for his birthday? Uh, a buck. <laughs> You know, speaking of bucks, I got a stuffed moose in Vermilion Bay. You think I should bring it? Like, it's a, it's a plush moose, but it's uh, four feet tall. A, a whole moose? Well, he's like a cartoon moose. He stands on his two legs, and he wears a shirt. Are you serious? Yeah, I got it in Vermilion Bay. Should I bring it to the office? I think you should. Yeah, I think you'd hang out in the test kitchen. <laughs> it's a great... We could feature him on the show. Feed him some fish. Do, do, do you really have one? Yeah, I have one. What's it called? Moosey. <laughs> He'd go well hey. with Lucy the Crocky. <laughs> How do you think Lucy's doing? Lucy, Lucy the crappie or Lucy the goose? Lucy the goose was toast come Christmas dinner. <laughs> okay, so. Shout out to Lucy. Shout out to Lucy. Hope you're doing well. And the owner. Who's the owner again? Uh, Leslie. Leslie. Leslie, Hi, Leslie. and Lucy. <laughs> How easy is this? Oh, it's su super easy. If we had two deep fryers, you could add both wings going at the same time. Uh, you're absolutely right on that one. So, so anybody that wants to get us a deep fryer for uh how about a double bowl or double dipper that too <laughs> how come we don't use an air fryer we could do an air fryer it might be healthier yeah you know good. the boys are very concerned about how much uh grease okay they so see. what we're going to do here is we're going to take these wings these are the ones that have the red on it yeah red wings red wings we're red, put red the wings. sauce huh just nice nice coat them yeah i suggest not to use all your sauce as they are 12 dollars <laughs> a bottle but you could probably use that much Toss your wings. So saucy. That'd be nice. No blue cheese. You're right. Uh, I need blue cheese. No blue cheese. No. I knew you were concerned about Joe. He doesn't like blue cheese. Okay, so the reds. Like, how beautiful is this? You know, how come no one does buffalo wall walleye with but? Well, Traz. Wait a second, Borelli. Since you won't let James call anymore. But if you're a restaurant, you're looking to do buffalo walleye wings on your menu. Great suggestion. Maybe we should cut it back. She's going to put two wings on there. Mm. So we don't go back to those 15 mm. wings a plate. Okay, you're right. No problem here. Should go like that, eh? Yes. This is going to go here. We're moving into the green. Yeah. 
Three. So what I recommend doing is not using nine dollars worth of hot sauce on one uh, set. Look at this. Though. Look at this salad. Hey, beauty salad. Beautiful salad. Mm. Whew. We got a lot of salad to eat. It's a lot of salad. It's okay though. Should we just feed it to a rabbit? Also, if you're to serve this in your restaurant. I would suggest to only do two wings. Two of each or just two? Two of each. And how much salad? <sighs> Maybe less than that. Oh, that's good. It's a lot of salad. Not really. Oh, I guess a generous portion. <laughs> two cans of rice, a handful of arugula, a quarter thing of feta, half a cucumber. That was half a feta. Yeah. That was a lot of feta. A cucumber, half a cucumber, not even a bag of cranberries and you get all this. You know where you'd be going bankrupt? The feta. Or the cranberry. Yeah, probably the cranberry. Actually, the pecans, too, are pretty fancy. Oh, right. You know what? Maybe you're getting a little scoop full of salad. <laughs> Jay used the expensive ingredients. You go to a restaurant, you're getting one cranberry, one pecan, and a sliver of feta. Are you the guest speaker at the AA meeting Thursday night? You know, nice! The Agriculture Research Station. I love that. Don't know why they're going to AA meetings, but okay. See me. Okay, folks, this was easy. Like, um, so easy. All you got to do is come out to 18 Sunnyside Road, buy your walleye wings, or tell call Doug. Loudons, or tell Doug and Cindy, or call Prestives. Hey, Josh, you need Lissy. Hi. Hi, guys. How you doing? Not watching. Hi, guys. How you doing? Think they watch what, us? When I mean, are you gonna make me the corporate chef? Anyways, uh, here we go. Look how beautiful these are, right? Okay, I suggest not to put a lot of this one. Very hot. Why don't you just take it like a shot, like just a little shot glass full of it? <laughs> Woo! <coughs> oh, I can smell it. It's pungent, pungently hot. <coughs> Remember when we filmed that one episode where you gassed me by uh, frying jalapeno seeds? Wasn't that uh, with Stick Boy Productions? It was. Good episode. Okay. Never made it to air. Never made it to air. Chris Knight, where are you? That's the official lost episode of Lake to Plate. Chris Knight, where are you? Okay. Uh, four wings. If you're doing this in a restaurant, you're going to see that six is too much. But for... Uh, this plate. This plate, and any other like to plate, we like to overplate. Overplate. There you have it. We're using local sauce today. Heartbeat hot sauce out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, great labeling. Great um, branding. Great branding, eh? We're using wild rice, local, Shoal Lake. Using produce from Safeway. And we're using... Local walleye wings from yours truly, Freshwater Cuisine. Should I try one of these hot ones? Yeah, try green. Okay, so this is how... Do you think people not eat the walleye wing? No. Probably not, no. eh? So the beautiful thing about a walleye wing is that you have a handle. This is a handle. Handle? See handle? This part is the meat. Right? So... You don't want to be gentle, though. You think consumers will ever figure out how to eat these? Don't we have a video coming? We do have a video coming. We have a promotional video coming soon on how to teach you how to eat the walleye wing. Although Chef just did it, you're also going to see that they're very hot on the inside. Mm. What's your mouth? A little on fire. Add the extra hot sauce, it's burning. So that air. Why don't you eat the tail too? Eat the hand. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, you went for it. Oh, you didn't go for it. There's your walleye wing. So a piece of waste that once was waste is now turned into a mainstream appetizer. Mainstream. Sort of. Sort of. Maybe in a couple months when we're national. Maybe. Are we national yet? Almost. Pretty soon. Hmm. Should we taste salad? I give it a bite. Just eat it with your hand like an animal. Oh, you actually went for it. Oh, God. Wow. 
Just, just slurp her back. That's an amazing show. Ah! Kind of reminds me of, uh, what's his name? Not. The guy with all the tattoos there. Chris? No. The, the chef. That's on, uh... Guy Fury? No. No. The guy from Toronto. The big guy. Has a tattoo. Oh, Matty Matheson. <laughs> Matty Matheson. Not how he does it. Anyway, next week we're going to Love Local Box. Pairing up with the Clover Belt. And we're going on Northern Pike Steak with a potato hash. All local products. Beautiful meal. What would something like that go for? I, I don't really know. You put too many things on there. You can do four wings. $12.99. Beautiful lunch, eh? Beautiful. Oh, blah, blah.